there are two futures that are occurring simultaneously. Our climate is changing rapidly for the worse at the cost of life as we know it. At the same time, technological progress in modern civilization is happening at a breakneck speed. The question is, how does technology, specifically artificial intelligence, impact climate change? So artificial intelligence is changing the world in countless ways. Using AI, we can write content, generate really cool art, and it can even do stand-up comedy. Dinosaurs are crazy weird, right? How did they survive without having credit cards? I guess they didn't. This is exciting and scary at the same time as we question our own uniqueness as humans. Really now? This is my amazing fellow YouTuber, who many of you may know, Dr. Adam Levy, also known as Climate Adam, a climate scientist with a PhD from Oxford. Adam has an excellent YouTube channel focused on climate education that you definitely need to subscribe to and check out if you haven't already. We have another collaboration video on their channel and more information on that is at the end of this video, so make sure to stay on. AI could also help us build a more environmentally friendly future. For example, by helping us understand what we're doing to the planet, building better electricity grids, and even by informing better policy. It is a powerful tool for environmental stewardship. But hold your horses, not so fast. AI's impact on climate change isn't all positive. The energy consumption of AI can also have negative environmental consequences, especially in terms of releasing emissions, exacerbating climate change. Are you sure? Explain yourself. You see, the storage and particularly the processing of data to train AI algorithms can consume vast amounts of energy. Most of these emissions due to the energy use in data centers are out of our sight, so we don't tend to think about it. For one algorithm to train itself on whether an image shows a cat, for instance, it needs to process thousands of cat images. Okay, but how bad is all this actually really? I mean, training an AI on many images or texts surely can't use that much energy. Deep learning can have a pretty terrible carbon footprint. In fact, a study found that training a large AI model to handle human language with millions of parameters, much like the models behind ChatGPT, can lead to emissions of up to 300,000 kilograms of carbon dioxide, which is equal to about five times the emissions of an average car in the US, including its manufacturer. And that estimate is only for one model training. On the bright side, once a model is trained, the emissions throughout its life cycle decrease significantly. But training AI models is usually a repetitive and iterative process, so it's not often a one and done thing. You can imagine large tech companies with lots of data like Google, Amazon, and Meta, they train hundreds of models and iterate on them on a daily basis. So yes, AI can have a significant contribution to carbon emissions. But the amount of emissions actually created in training an artificial intelligence depends heavily on where the energy is coming from. And according to a study by Lacoste et al, using electricity from renewable energy can make the biggest difference. In fact, using a grid that is entirely renewables based can cut emissions by 40 times relative to using a grid that is entirely coal based. Great point there. Also, AI and machine learning developers can use smaller models to complete a task instead of a large model, which can take a ton of computation and energy to train. So transfer learning, where developers can take an existing model and train on top of it, can also reduce computation time and energy use. If these models are made open source, other developers can use the same trained model and even make them more efficient leading to a reduction in further energy use and emissions. There's a really interesting tool I found on GitHub called Experiment Impact Tracker. It allows developers to evaluate energy use and estimate carbon footprint, and it could be a really positive first step in lowering the climate impact of artificial intelligence. We can't ignore AI's impact on the environment. But if we use these tools correctly, they could have an incredibly positive role in both how we understand climate change and what we do about it. And so Adam and I teamed up to make a video on their channel on how AI can actually benefit the environment and be part of climate solutions. So make sure to head on over to this link, watch the video, subscribe to their channel, and I'll see you soon.